Okay guys, how are you today? Um, in this video I'd like to show you about a free VST called Jindrum and this VST is an instrument that's sounding like 80s or classic 90s drum kits like we always hear in any synth pop or synth wave retro wave, retro pop or whatever it's so called and we get this a very simple interface in this gin drum um, we have some drum kits and this pads there are 12 pads in here uh, for the bass uh, or kick kick drum snare open head close head low conga high conga high thumb low thumb cabasa tambourine rim shot and this clap um, um, this drum kit controlled by the fader upon this um, pad, so we can control the volume or the gain of each drum kit. This is for bass, snare, hi hat, clap, and so on. We can also adjust the tuning of the kits in here. Uh, we can see bass, snare, clap, hi hat, thumb, conga, rim, cabasa. It's only eight, but the drum kit's actually twelve. Uh, some of these kits tuning together in one parameter, like the open head and this um, close head, uh, controlled by a single uh, well, parameter in here. Like also the thumb, we have three. Uh, Oh, we have two we have two thumbs in here that is controlled by a single tuning parameter in here and then in this global i don't know what is the use of this tempo knob and maybe if you can find out how it is for just give me a response on the comment section below and the volume is to uh, control the whole sound of this um, VST instrument. So, okay, for the next, let's make some kind of beat. Okay, I set the tempo 100 BPM already in here, and there are no signs of this piano roll that is uh, show where is kick, where is snare, where is tom located, but it's in the sort of low octave of this piano roll and it started from P2 the P2 and C3 is a four kick drum and then you can press the other keys in here that you can find out where is each uh, drum kit located so let's make the simple beat in these four bars. But unfortunately, we cannot uh, kind of split a single a single VST here in each uh, mixer tracks. But you can add multiple tune drum in this channel track for the each drum kit. Uh, for example, we can leave this uh, tune drum with kick only, and then we clone it or open um, the new syndrome maybe this is for the snare so we can send each VST into the um, separated uh, mixer track like this kick in the 
first channel track and this second channel track is for the snare so with this method we can adjust every single kit freely that we can make the panning we can adjust the panning and we can adjust the velocity itself oh no not velocity i mean the volume um and that's it you can add some kind of effects some kind of mixing mastering vst like eq compressing panning saturation whatever you can do that in each um drum kit in the separated channel mixer um and then what else oh we can control the velocity uh for this vst so if we adjust uh, this velocity up or down there will take no effects because maybe it's not made for that it's not made for the velocity response so uh whatever you tweak it it will it will have no no impact for the for the sounding of this chin drum or maybe this is um the panning on this uh note pen It's still mono wherever you tweak it um but it's okay uh, since this uh, vst has a very small uh, file size it won't make your computer become so rushed because of the um, cpu cpu consumption or ram consumption no it's it's pretty safe because it's very very lightweight okay and we can also make uh what else okay for the next uh, uh clone okay three we'll make the hi-hat in here And if you wanna um, separate another another uh, drum kits, you can um, add another chin drum here for the toms, for the conga, for the cabeza, for the tambourine, and else uh, and etc. Just do this by cloning the chin drum, and then um, add this into the next um blank mac uh master master rack here a uh, mixing mixer mixer track here and then yeah we have a simple simple drum loop here maybe we can uh we we will add some kind of um drum uh no stupid no 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 i'm sorry oh fuck okay because my file studio is crashing and that's all the video for today thank you for watching and i hope this helpful for you so see you in the next video Bye-bye.